morning it's a sunny first of july and uh, i have got a sleepy little granddaughter fast asleep on the sofa so i can't really do anything um because i don't want to wake her up she's been here since half past five this morning and um so i thought what could i do that not make a noise i'll just nip out in the garden and do a video and show you the garden and uh, I don't think there's an awful lot of changes, but uh, there's got one or two new flowers out. Um, and uh, everything's looking really nice. We had a bit of a barbecue yesterday and friends came round and sat. we sat uh, out in the garden until it got too hot and had to go inside. So the uh, garden's starting to um, be productive in the fruit and veg department and turning into a nice place to sit and entertain friends so all's going well this year it's not looking like a building site like it did, <laughs> did last year when we was putting um, things in and things up right let's go and uh, have a look round so I'm shooting into the sun here so you can't really see let me see if I can come a bit further round I've made a new seating area in the shade so uh, that's looking good. My Harry Gray is really doing well. Starting to produce lots of flowers. Really good. Sorry about the sun. Um, this area I chopped down the bottom stems of this tree to let some more light in. So now we can see, well we could if we could get away from the sun my purple clematis that's better and there was a fuchsia here but it had an accident um, so it's now in three pieces let me show you two of them one two third ones over somewhere under the shade but it's not dead it's coming back, so I've, I've ended up with three plants out of one. Calla lilies are doing really well. We've got uh, two. You can't see that one because it's in the shade. Let me get a bit closer. There we are. And I've moved my black grasses, and I was watching a programme on the television the other night that these are not actually grasses. They're part of the lily family and I did suspect that they weren't pure grasses when they flowered the other year but everybody always calls them black grasses but they, uh, they should be not be long before they flower and once they start growing like this then next step is the flowers so distance you can't really see much but green but um, the patty pan in the new home is doing really well and my pineapple lily is coming up. Here we are, look, with the sun on it. It's, I can't, I'm in my own shadow all the time. That's better. And this plant is really starting to produce more little flowers. So, I've still got the shading up. Got loads of different plants, and there's tons of plants underneath this shading. I've just pulled it back so you can see. But this area is looking really nice. This area is going to be not pot area. It's going to be into the ground next year. Pinks are still doing well. Fuchsia's slowly coming back. And the only thing I'm having a problem with is this um, bleeding heart. It flowered all last year. Um, but we've had one spate of flowers and then it's not looking happy. I think it's too hot for it. Um, I have fed it, so it's not that, and it is getting plenty of water. Moulin Rouge is still going strong. My little fluffy flowers have gone over now. They're uh, starting to go to seed. If I come around here and go, go through the gate, look. Through the gate. Oh, I'm not showing you this this year. It's a bit overgrown now. I'm going to cut it back a little bit. This has suddenly gone mad this year. It's never hardly grown. And look at the size of it. 
this year oops hold on i'm in the sun I can't you can't see it. look at that that's really gone mad so it must like the warmth um this is my dog's grave dogs um so underneath here is where i buried my last two dogs and we have a caney statue and a tyson statue right we're going through the gate this area is uh, looking all right we've got uh, plenty of uh, cover so no weeds coming up and the rhubarb's still going mad i can't get up into the air to show you but the clematis and the jasmine which i'm going to cut back next year i don't want it all the way up there i wanted it here so i'm going to try and cut it back i've took cuttings just in case i kill it the wall's looking nice we've got uh, a few californian poppies and a few nasturtiums cell setters from the other year so we've got the dark color the new ones i've set i've put in this year are um, more this colour. This is a Californian poppy. Wow. Oh, so yeah, that's another nasturtium. So the new ones I put in this year are more that colour. And the chives have gone. Uh, they've gone over with the flowering. So I think I've got a poppy coming up there, but I did sprinkle poppy seeds. And this purple flower that was in one of the pots from the fruit bushes is looking good. And we've got another one over there, but I don't think you can see it. I don't know, without me climbing. Over there, look. That's a pinker one. So my big flower, Dahlia, the one that gets the biggest, uh, blousiest flower on it, is about to come out. And this one is going to be a pink. I said I thought it'd be a white, but it's not. Because here I go, pink, white, pink, white. I can't really get over that side, because I've put something in my way. But uh, I've shown you all the different uh, different dailies across there anyway. Move my lettuce, trying to keep it more in the shade. Flowers are doing really well. So are the beans, the peas. I've been picking these peas and having them um, just as the pods. The tunnel is looking lush. Oh, there's a bee in there these peas as well are doing well the beetroot's doing well first time ever my carrots are doing well this time i've not prepared the soil not sieved it not done nothing i just stuck them in and left them and look at that some more over there as well i can't believe it all that preparation for the last three or four years trying to get the right soil making sure it's sieved and everything and not getting anything much look look at that new um panny patty pan area so this is another one i've built i'm running out of space on my phone so this bit's going to have to be quick so everything's looking great the tomatoes all my seating area my lilies are out look at them get a bit closer yeah and uh, top end is looking good my fig tree's fine I'm able to go in my seating area i have to keep taking the cushions off because the birds keep perching on the top of it and pooing all over my cushions so everything's fine around here my little pygmy dahlia is looking lovely we've got flowers over there some flowers are doing good uh, everything's doing fine oh look my new bleeding heart is starting to produce flowers now this one is not in the sun all day because i put some of this gazebo so it only gets a bit of sun so it's doing a lot better so all the plants are flowering well This uh, nice and easy is uh, suddenly out. 
but it's very small so it's hard for me to get down here and get a good photo looks like this one won't be long I said it was going to be a dark one when I saw the dark colour on the back of here and it is looks like that's going to be I put the purple and white one I thought I'd lost no it's not I found the label this is um, something tangerine but it's looking very purple in there all the tomatoes this side is not doing as well as all the others because it got a whole, an awful lot of sun until I put the gazebo up to shade it but it still gets so much sun and you always thought tomatoes like heat but they don't particularly like direct sun there's two plants are these we haven't had no leaf curl on them oops that's my hand in the way isn't it sorry these we've had no leaf curl on them um they're growing lovely and they're in the shade all the time that one gets a bit of sun late afternoon and can't you see where it gets the sun that leaf is curling look at that and they watered well they've got enough water it's not because it's lack of water once i've put the gazebo up and these get a lot more shade they are picking up they was curled that much they was curled right each of these leaf stems was curled right back to the stem that tight if you tried to undo them they snapped off my normal butternut squash is doing brilliantly look look at this and I have actually seen last night the start of a, a squash. I think that one's in, this one here. It's just just there. When it when the flower opens, I'm hoping the bees will get it and it will set because that is is a female. These are all these cheap bulbs I got, and they come in. Look, we're doing fine. All the ones that have got shoots on are coming up